So not only does it have limited support for Apple computers, like the uh, MacBooks or anything, it also has limited support on like the iPads. First, CamViewer. I can't fault them on. I uh, can't fault CamViewer on this because CamViewer is a free app, and when you go to like the, your um, your settings here, they don't give you an option to choose what kind of file cam you own. So um, basically, if you click on a twenty, if I were to try to connect to a 20W, it just keeps trying to load and nothing loads. But hey, this app is free, so I can't fault them on it. Now, this other app, this sneaky little app called FoxCam Pro. This app, I'm gonna try to add the uh, FoxCam here, the current model over here. It's all the 98, there's our 89, 89, 89, but there's no 98 series. And why is that? Well, it turns out it's because if I go to information here, this app is made by Logic Consulting. It is not made by FOSCAM. They're just using the FOSCAM name to sell their app. So this app is uh, essentially useless if you have the FI9820W. The app that I use by far the most is called Live Cams Pro. This app right here, I'm able to connect to all the FOSCAMs. The, I'm able to connect to the FI 8918W, the FI 8910W, and FI 9820W. And you even want to click Add to try to add my FOSCAM. And I just click on this uh, and just type in FOSCAM here. So these are all the FOSCAM supports, and it even supports this one right here, the FI 9820W. So this app, this company, they clearly partner with uh, FOSCAM. So I'll definitely recommend this app, the Live Cams Pro. Now, oh, I asked for the the quality of image on a mobile device. This is the FI 910W. This is the FI 9820W, the one megapixel one. They're roughly the same distance from this InfoGrow bo uh, box, this baby formula box. So you can see that this one is more zoomed in the one megapixel one. This one gives you a better view, oh, sorry, a wider scope of view and a wider uh, see Now as for the words, the clarity of the words, I can still make out 85, 58% larger infogrow, yada yada. Whereas this one right here, well, this is a one megapixel camera, but if you're not viewing this on like a, on a computer and you're, and you're just viewing this on a mobile device, I can't really see how the quality of this is better than the 0.3 megapixel camera. It seems like they just scaled it. They reduced the quality for mobile transmission for a smartphone device. So I don't know. I, I don't really think this is worth it if you're trying to monitor your home or something when, when you're out. Uh, the Because the quality of the image, you're zoomed in more, you have a less you have, you have a re reduced field of view and yet the quality of the image is not as sharp it's definitely not 720p as, as they advertise the 720p i think you only achieve it if you're on a computer well thanks for watching this uh, review this review was of the foscam fi 9820w uh, i know it's, it sounds very negative but i we really don't have much nice things to say about it so if you guys get a chance, I'll recommend checking my, my, my other review of the FI 8910W. I think this is the much better FOSCAM. Uh, if, if we can get on sale, it's like $65. This one cost me $130. So I don't think this is worth it. Well, thanks for watching Walker Hamster. If you guys have any more requests, suggestions, questions, feel free to send to me. Bye.